guys, Malkuth 1974 coming back at you with another episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast, or as this was originally called, Modded Minecraft. Today's a little special short episode. All I want to do is spotlight a new block that has come out from Thermal Expansion. Uh, I did uh, the upgrade to uh, all the packs should make you have these new blocks, and they're called Liquid Tesseract. Now, if you don't know what a liquid tesseract is, it's basically the new version of, uh, you know, phase pipes. Basically, they will, uh, instead of having miles and miles of pipes, you have two tesseract, and they work over dimensionals. They will work in uh, the nether, or they'll work in uh, miscraft worlds, but you have one on one side, and it will transfer to another one that you have on the other side. And a little demonstration I did in here is that I switched over my nether lava supply system from the real craft and miscraft to just uh, thermal expansion and it's tesseract, which is this thing. So I got one on this side and then we go through the portal and I got another one on this side. And how it works is that it looks like it gives you a bucket every second, basically, is the transfer rate for this thing. Uh, so basically, I've taken two separate mods, actually three separate mods, two separate mods, got rid of that system, which was a little bit buggy because uh, Miscraft had a little bug in it where it would crash your system if you had uh, these things. There was There was a fix I downloaded from it, but... Uh, it was still kind of buggy to thermal expansion where you're using basically thermal expansion its own liquid duct pipes and the tesseracts now allow you to have transport pipes like the olden days remember back in the olden days and it's part of feed the beast and it's both in both packs so it's in minecraft and it's in this one uh, the dire wolf pack how to build them well let's go down to the shop and take a look there's three different tesseracts. There's an energy one, there's a liquid one, liquid one, and there's an item one. And the item one you'll have to use with like uh, build craft pipes, because uh, thermal expansion does not have uh, item pipes, its own type of item pipes. It has liquid duct pipes, and it has its own energy system pipes, but it doesn't have the uh, transport pipes for items. So you can use the build craft items, and you can also use the build craft these on build craft pipes, uh, build craft liquid duct pipes, and also build craft energy pipes. So there's three different ones. How you got to build it? They're basically made the exact same way that uh, the energy pipes are made. You need to melt like in the energy pipes, you need to melt down uh, redstone into molten redstone, and you put it into a red cell energy uh, frame and then you build the actual red cell uh, storage system. This is the same exact thing, the only difference is that it actually uses ender pearls instead of... Let me see. Ah, come here. Just place your ender pearls in your magnet crucible and it will melt them down. And then you want your liquid transposer to be able to take in the supply for you can make the frames let me see what do I wanna I think I'm gonna make an energy one they're little everyone has a little bit of different uh, recipe to it so the energy one you need to make a tesseract frame which is hardened glass these are all the same really simple a recipe it's a little expensive but it has a diamond but Harding, well, if you play Greg Tech, this is actually cheap, but uh, hardened glass, diamond, and tin ingots around it. Let me see if I can make you guys one of these. There. Hardened glass and tin. That gets you a Tesseract frame. And then you go to the liquid transposer and you put that in there. Now you need, I believe, four ender pearls to actually, is it four or three? I think I have a few more left. Oh, I got 17. Let's bring out two more. Oh, I'm doing minus. Request. 
Just wait for that to come. There it is. Two ender pearls. Oh, we want to put it in the magma crucible. Boom. It'll melt those down. It'll enter here, and what will happen is that this Tesseract frame will disappear. And you see how it just disappeared? That means it's loading up. Now, to make the system work, you need two of each. So you need you need uh, a, a receiver, and you need the sender. So you always need two Tesseracts, so you have to actually do this twice. Make two of these types of frames, and it's going to fill up, and it's going to give you an unattuned Tesseract. Now what you need to do, say I want to make the energy one, I would need an electrum ingot, uh, silver ingots, lead ingots, and a redstone conductance coil, which means we need a bunch of electrum. Do I have any electrum? I do have electrum. Oh, look, I can actually build this with you guys. So let's make the redstone condun con whatever. Try not to say words, Malku. Try not. So again, I'm gonna eventually make two of these. So we'll just make two of them. Two redstones, an electrum ingot right there, and then now we have the iron tune that. So I need actual silver. So. What is this? And lead. Do I have lead? Lead might be the only thing. I think I have it in the system, though. Let me see. If not, we'll make it up real quick. I have lead ore, but I don't have lead ingots. Alright. That's alright. I hardly ever use lead for anything, so... It's kind of a... One of those things. We'll just put this baby right into the powered furnace. Cook her right up. One. I only need two. Two. Alright. So. No, we don't need that. That's the unattuned one, sorry. And two silvers. And where did the lead ones go? There they are. And we need one of these. This one gives me the energy one. So this means I can trans. Uh, I made the liquid one, liquid ones for my lava transport, and now I'm making an energy one. If I want to transfer, I need two of them though. But we'll go put it on the system right now, just where it's ready, for I can show you a couple different things. How to set them up? How to get them moving? All that lovely, lovely stuff. Sorry about the lag. I still have to do some fixing here. So, in all theory, this should be able to hook to a pipe of my choice. I could probably put it right here. Now, what you want to do is that you can actually set, just like anything other wireless type of thing, you can set uh, frequencies to it. So I have my lava system set up to one, and I don't believe... I can, just to show that I can do this, this is a different energy tes tesseract, so I should be able to have this set up as one, and I can name it energy system base. And then all you gotta do is push, when you type this in, you push in the one for the, the actual number on it, you, add, you, uh, you, you push the little plus signal uh, thing here, and it will save it. That way you can just select it anytime you want. And then, right now, if you read this right now, it says device inactive. If you press the frequency, now it's active. Now that means if I make a, if I make a uh, Tesseract, another Tesseract, and I bring it to another world, and I set it to 1, now it's receiving energy from my home system, even though it's in another world. So that's how that works. And you can shut it off with disable, just like that. And you can also delete frequencies by just going just like that. Now the frequency is deleted. It's not in the system, but I can add it back, and it'll still be there. So we're going to activate it just for it's there. That's why I built it. And now, basically, I have a wireless piping system. So that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. 
Um, it's probably going to change a whole hell of a lot of ways people do things in this game and other games. What I had an issue, why I'm excited about these, because my issue with this is that my mass fabricator, even though my system can produce 300 plus EU of energy, my mass fabricator, I had to actually uh, downgrade it by timing it. Let me see how many I got here, 43. So basically I had it set for it's on for five minutes and then it shuts off for five minutes just for my lava system can uh, refill. Uh, basically if I had the mass fabricator on full bore all the time it would drain my uh, lava system in well within probably a half hour. So I set up a system where it's five minutes on, five minutes off using timers and it worked pretty well because if you guys don't know I, actually, I have it set up that... Uh, the recycler it's getting uh, I have it shut off now but when I have my quarry and my other stuff feeding recycle stuff to it it would go into the mass fabricator and it would uh, basically you know feed it and the more recycled materials you put into a mass fabricator the faster the, uh, the mass fabricator actually is but when it doesn't have recycled material remember I'm playing the dire wolf pack you don't have this in uh, you don't have the mass fabricator in uh, the Minecraft version, you guys have the the Greg Text version, which you have to have recycled material to actually run the the fabricator that he has. But this one, you don't have to have it. You can it can run by itself just off of energy, but it sucks up a massive amount of energy. I think for one one UU matter, it costs one million EU, so it's quite expensive to do it that way. So what I, I'm a little bit excited because now my old system, the Railcraft system, had a hard time keeping up with that or had a hard time keeping up with pretty much the whole system because I have, you know, the, the regular magnetic engines running and I have this running and it would suck up everything. So basically this should help out a lot now. Uh, you guys should check it out. Transport pipes, wi wireless transport pipe basically, and uh, tubeless pipes and tubeless water pipes, all that stuff. So. Another great add-on by Thermal Expansion. King Lemons, what a god. Alright, we'll see you guys later. It's not Goof1974. We'll see you later.